everyone. You may have just purchased your Apple Watch Series 7 and you may be trying to figure out how you can even use it. Well, this is a very easy process. There's nothing really crazy about it. Now, I will tell you the very first thing that you would probably need to do as soon as you buy an Apple Watch is connect it to your iPhone. So I will leave a video linked down in the description that I already did on my second channel on the exact process. It's a little kind of long. So if you haven't you know, connected your iPhone yet to it, watch that video first link down in the description and then come back to this one and then you'll learn how exactly how to use your whole entire apple watch series 7. and the very first thing is looking on the exterior of this specific apple watch so on the front you have your display here this is where you're going to use everything with your specific watch but also if you look to the left you really don't have much going on here it's really just you know speakers microphones all around the specific apple watch up top you have nothing on the bottom you have nothing right here on the right side, this is where pretty much everything that you're going to be using on your Apple Watch, a lot of the peripherals are right here. So here you have the digital crown. So this is where you can go ahead and use if you want to click on this button to click on yes or no. You can move this up and down to kind of go through things, which we'll get into in a second. And also if you want to set up any blood monitoring or anything like that, this is a you know little sensor in a way that you can hold your finger right here and get that type of information, which we'll get over in a second. You have a microphone right here. You have the power button right here. So if you ever wanted to power down or power up your Apple Watch, then this is the button right here to do that kind of stuff at. So that's everything on this side. Now on the back, we have our little charging little pad right here. So essentially, if you have your Apple Watch charger, which looks just like this, all you would have to do is go ahead and make sure you align this end of your Apple Watch charger to the back here, and it'll go ahead and magnetic clasp essentially if you put it the other way it's just not going to go it's just going to kind of find its way this way so as long as the other side is plugged in your apple watch will start charging now on top of that you have your little bands up on the top and bottom now this portion confuses some people but if you ever wanted to take off your bands you will see that there are buttons kind of one right here and one right here they're a little hard to see right now but if you look in the back of your apple watch you'll essentially see it and all you really have to do is hold down on these buttons so you want to hold down kind of click down on the button here and slide the band off and that's really it and if you want to put the band back on you align it exactly how you normally would and go ahead and slide it in make sure it's in place and then you're pretty much set so that's a little you know exterior little you know walkthrough again nothing super crazy but it's a very easy thing it's nothing super you know hard to understand on the outside of your apple watch now, as soon as you boot it up, you'll pretty much come into this specific panel. So this is your watch face. So whenever you go ahead and look away from your watch, it turns off. And when you look back at it, it'll go ahead and turn on. If it doesn't turn on, you can always click the side button here to actually go ahead and turn the face of your Apple Watch on. Now, some Apple Watches do support, you know, always on displays, and this one does support it too. So if you ever wanted to, if you go ahead and power it off like this, the always on display should turn on at some point. Sometimes it doesn't. I guess it's kind of like if you're wearing it or not. As you can see, now it's starting to register that I wore it. So you can always turn on your display as well by turning it on. Now, this is your time. You can go ahead and change up your watch face, which we'll get into in a second too. But some things that are universal are the notification drawer and the bottom drawer. So if we swipe down from the top, you will pretty much see that you can see some past notifications. It's almost just like your iPhone. So on your iPhone, you can see some past notifications if you swipe down. Well, you can do the same exact thing here, and it'll go ahead and tell you a bunch of different things on your Apple Watch. If you swipe all the way up, you can click that clear all button, and it'll clear all those notifications. So if you swipe down, you can see all those notifications as you can see it says no, and this is system wide. So pretty much wherever you are, you can swipe down from the top and see all the past notifications that you may have missed now another thing you can do just like on the older iphones you can swipe up from the bottom and you can get into this little panel now this is essentially your control center for your apple watch so here you can go ahead and modify your wi-fi settings if you want to turn off wi-fi you have that ability if you want to come off a different mode on your apple watch you can do so on this specific little toggle you can also see your battery life by swiping by swiping up like this you can turn on whatever that alarm is. You have walkie-talkie mode, you have silent, do not disturb mode, airplane mode, a little flashlight toggle. So if you want to turn on the flashlight, you can go and click here, and it'll go ahead and turn on the flashlight. You can also turn on this type of flashlight. You can also turn on the little red bar. If you're running outside or something, it's a cool thing that you actually have that ability of. And it'll go ahead and change up colors like this, which is really cool. So you can swipe out of it by going like this, and you'll pretty much come back to your home screen. Now, if you're in this page, all you have to do is swipe all the way from the top, and you'll come straight into here. Now with the watch faces, luckily for us, we have the ability of swiping and switching our watch faces if we want to without even having to go on our iPhone. So in order to do this, what you wanna do is you wanna hold down on your watch face just like this. 
Now you will see that not only can you swipe to the side and see a couple of different other peripherals, but you can also use the digital crown to swipe through as well. So like we said earlier, we can use this crown to kind of maneuver through our UI. Well, we can do that by swiping up and swiping down on the digital crown. So not only is it a button, but it's also a little knob that you can move. So in this case, let's say we want to switch over to a different watch face. Well, you know, as you saw before, we had this specific watch face. If you swipe over and we want to use this one, all we have to do is highlight it over, click on it, and you'll go ahead and be able to use it. Now, you may have to click on this button, and then you'll be able to switch over to this specific watch face. And you can do this with any other watch face too. So let's go and hold down on it again. We can click on the display. Let's go and hold down on it again. And now let's say we want to go ahead and add a new watch face. Well, we'll swipe all the way to the edge like this. We'll go ahead and click that little plus button. And there are a ton of other watch faces we can choose from. We can you know, create a new watch face or we can choose some already existing ones. So here are some popular ones that other people have or Apple has already made. And there are a ton of them. So in this case, you know, one of my favorite ones is the modular watch face. It's the one that I personally use, and it is without a doubt one of my favorite ones out there. So this is one of my favorite ones, but there's also the standard modular one, which is right here. So there's modular duo, there's a ton of other watch faces. So in this case, let's say we wanted to choose the modular duo. We go and click add, and when we click add, it'll allow us to go ahead and change up these toggles, or these widgets, whatever we want to. So if we want it to be this, we can change it to this, but we can also move this crown up and down to change it to whatever else we want it to do. So in this case, we'll just keep it like this. I kind of actually like that. We can go and click into the button itself, and we can go ahead and click on that little you know, page itself, and you can see that we do actually get onto the actual thing itself. And you can edit up whatever else you want by clicking on the little page like this, and you can go and click on the edit button right here, and you can change up a lot of these different toggles, and on the side, you will see that you have this little you know, green thing, a little option here. So it shows you whatever other else you can modify. Now in this specific face, you don't have too many things you can modify. But like I said, you can go ahead and choose a different face that you want to and kind of tinker around with it. You know, we're not going to go through every single little toggle, but there are a lot of things you can change. You can also change the themes, the colors of them, which is great. You can tap into it. You can also go ahead and click on the little button here, click edit. And here you can go ahead and change up maybe a couple of other toggles and different things like that. So you can see, you can change these complications. So let's say you don't want the little moon face here, or let's say you want to change it to something else like, you know, blood oxygen level. Well, you can change it like this. You can go and click here. And let's say you don't want that. You want the world clock instead. You can go and click on the world clock. And let's say you don't want whatever this is, the battery life, and you want to change it to something like workout. Well, you can go ahead and change up whatever else you want to like this too. You can go and click on the button like this. You can click right here and you will pretty much be set. That's really pretty much the main thing you can do. Now, another big thing with Apple Watches are the applications. So what you can do is click into the digital crown like this, and you will come straight into all of the applications that you have on your Apple Watch. If you want to get out of it, you click that button and you get out of it. So let's go back into it, and you will see all of the applications that you have. Now, again, I'm not going to go through every single one, but you can modify and add all sorts of applications because we now have an app store built into our specific Apple Watch. So we can go ahead and click on the app store like this, and it will go ahead and open it up for us. Now, I would recommend installing these apps through your iPhone, but you can still do it from your Apple Watch, and it's going to give you this little pop-up. Again, we can scroll through, or we can also go up and down like this. Go and click Continue, and here are a bunch of applications we can go ahead and install, and we can also use on our specific Apple Watch. So if you want to install it, you go and click Get. Now, as long as it doesn't require us, so it does require us to turn the passcode on. So I'd recommend you to turn the passcode on if you want to, but that is pretty much the process to install applications. And you can also delete applications via your iPhone, but you can also go ahead and make your way over to your settings application. So right here is a little settings app for us. We can go and click that and it'll take us right into our settings app. So within here, there are tons of other things we can go and modify our Wi-Fi, our airplane mode, turning it on. We can add a passcode right there, battery settings, tons of other options. So if we go and scroll up and we go and click on general, you'll see a ton of other things. We can go ahead and update our Apple Watch by clicking on the little update panel right there. You can scroll down and download and install this you know, specific software straight through this Apple Watch so we don't even have to go through our iPhone. We can click back. We can also click about. Now this will tell us a lot of other information for our specific watch. So we don't even have to do anything crazy here either. We can literally just do you know, specifically everything from our Apple Watch straight from here. Used to be we had to go through our iPhone to do a lot of this stuff. Now we actually don't have to do that. Now on top of that, if you ever want to go back, you can click that top button right here on that little back button and it'll go ahead and take us back. 
Now on top of this, there's a lot of other options like handoff mode, nightstand mode, but for the core functionality, and this is pretty much all you have to pretty much know for the most part. Now another thing is if you ever wanna go back out of any other application, you can always click in the button like this and it'll pretty much take you back. And if you wanna click again, it'll go ahead and take you back home. Now, if you ever want to go back to an application that you were just using on iPhones, we do have, you know, our, you know, a little multitasking mode on Apple watches. We don't have multitasking mode. We do have something else. So we can go ahead and click on that little button on the side and it will bring us into multitasking. So we can go ahead and swipe through all these other apps we were just using, as you can see, and we can go ahead and go back. So if we want to open up our calculator we were just using, we can go and click on calculator and it will bring us here. If you want to click it again, you can go ahead and swipe through and see all these other applications. Now, if you want to delete all your applications that you're using, you can swipe out and click that X button. So we can swipe out and click that X button and we can go through all of these other apps that we were using and pretty much delete any of these apps. Now, again, we can also see all apps by clicking here, but deleting these applications can be good sometimes if you're trying to clear out some of your, the background of your specific you know, Apple Watch. You don't really need to do it, but it is something that you have the ability of. So that's pretty much it. That's a basic walkthrough of your Apple Watch Series 7. Hopefully you have a pretty good understanding of the way of the world and how to use your specific Apple Watch. And hopefully by now you have a good understanding of it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.